Coover man claims officers went too far when they went into his home looking for his son. As investigator Anna Canzano reports, his problem is not that police were looking for his son, it's the way he says they did it. The police were all parked down there. When officers showed up at Dan Fisher's house Wednesday night, they were trying to arrest his son, Danny, on a parole violation. And he goes, this is DOC, we're here for Danny. And uh, I says, well, he's not here right now. And uh, they says, well, we're coming in. I said, do you have a warrant? And they didn't say anything. And I said, without a warrant, you're not coming in. He's shocked by what he says happened next. I stepped behind the door at that point and six officers came from that direction down there. They came flying in here and hit this door and this door just buckled. I thought it was coming off. This is the hole that they left? Yeah, I puttied, I puttied it and sprayed it last night. Just like this. He claims he was shoved against the wall and handcuffed. His home searched. Dylan, his 11-year-old grandson, describes a scary scene. Here come up two men. They say, freeze, put your hands up in there. And I'm like shaking right then. I was like, okay, why well, do I have to put up my hands? Do they have their guns pointed at you? Yeah. Both of them? No, just one. Fisher says he settled a lawsuit with Vancouver police for $45,000 in a similar scuffle, a similar scenario back in 2003. Well, I still have numbness in my thumb from before. And believes this is somehow tied to that. He acknowledges his son's addiction to heroin and troubles with the law, but claims he's never tried to hide him from officers. It's been... It's taken its toll. The Department of Corrections insists this visit was done by the book. They're not there to, to harm or, or punish the, the families in any measure. So we're, we're always very aware of that. So what about that warrant? Well, the DOC says they have the legal authority to enter a home like this looking for someone like Danny Fisher or clues to his whereabouts because he is on supervision and not checking in with his parole officer. Vancouver police contend that they were there just to assist the Department of Corrections. He's already settled one lawsuit. Fisher has. What happens now? Well, he's called his attorney again. We'll follow this one too, Anna. Thank you.